What's up YouTube? We're here uh, going to show you a do-it-yourself repair for a Dyson DC40 brush heads that won't turn. The brush heads are what's in here and turns turn so that you can go ahead and suck up the dirt from your carpet and the hairs and all of that stuff. It's a very common problem. Once again, this is for the DC40 and I've already gone ahead and um, done a few steps, but I'm going to go through the initial process for those of you that want a step-by-step -step from the beginning. So here is the Dyson 40. What you're going to do is you're going to bring it down on its upside and you should be able to hold it that way. Um, once you go ahead and move it up, what you want to do is you want to take this the suction head off. And the suction head is usually held on here from this location and it's held on with this retainer clip that goes in like this and all you have to do is pry it open from one side and then the other <clears throat> okay guys so I've already gone ahead and done that and then all you have to basically do is wiggle it out you can even do it with one hand and there you go here's your whole um, vacuum brush head <clears throat> and we're gonna put it here just so that we can go ahead and start the process of working on it okay so you're going to need very basic tools first of all you're just going to need a phillips screwdriver just like this any phillips screwdriver will do and i am going to apologize but i'm not sure what type of uh, uh star head this is or i'm not sure if it's a t5 or i'm not sure but uh just make sure that with this one here i'm going to show you guys later where it goes and if you buy a cheap set, I bought this little set here um, at the, I think it was like the 99 cent store or something like that. It's very cheap. Um, and it usually comes with this, uh, these types of uh, star heads, um, as well as the ones from uh, Harbor Freight are pretty good as well. All right. So those are basically the only two tools you're going to need, or at least I needed. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to start off by um, undoing these clips right here and they're very easy all you have to do is go into the little wedge here pull open like so and the same thing on this side like that and what's going to happen is this frame here is going to come off like that okay you put that aside and now you're going to have the brush heads exposed okay this is what actually turns when you're vacuuming your floor um, and sometimes it stops turning like what happened to mine um, and it stops turning the major culprit is usually because of the hairs that get stuck in between the uh, the wedge here or it could just be just any hair stuck on the brushes or anything but I'm going to show you guys where the majority of the problem exists for most people um, and what you're going to do is I've already done is you see these little four screws right here <clears throat> They go into this corner one two three and four Once you've gone ahead and removed that What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lift up on one side and you're going to want to wiggle Okay, you wiggle and it comes off and when it goes back on just make sure that you see this little groove right here you'll find the same groove on on, on this little piece right here and I'll show you right now. So once again, you go ahead and remove it and this thing has a groove as well. So make sure you put it into the same groove and the groove I'm talking about is this one right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it right there. Let's see, right there. Is there there's only one side that has a groove as you guys can see, the other sides don't have it. It's They're pretty flat. Okay, um, and while you're down here, what you're gonna wanna do um, is clean the hairs out of these little uh, caster wheels here. Uh, there's three, and that's basically it. Okay, and so the major culprit to this, where the hairs are, it's usually in here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. This little area right here, since it spins, um, it usually catches a lot of hairs and if you do have hairs there, then that's probably your culprit. <clears throat> you go ahead and remove them and put everything back together. 
in hopes that it'll be working. Okay, but I'm gonna go a step further because that wasn't the issue with mine. So that's where you would find hairs, right there. Remove them, put everything back together. Okay, so if you guys can see this one here, this is the short end. See, look at that. That's how a good uh, brush wheel should be spinning once it's already on the, the motor, okay? But the longer end, I can't move it. It's pretty difficult to move. It's hard. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, you're gonna see here, once again, the, uh, the star screw that's right there, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and grab my deep fitting here, and I'm going to be opening this. It doesn't require much force. It's very, very light. Um, and you guys will see. I'll remove this out of the way. Okay. Put that down and then just simply push this out. Um, it's going to come out with some force, but Let's see. Guys, we're back. Um, I just needed to use two hands and the way that I have my camera, um, I wasn't able to kind of get the full force that I need um, in order for me to pull it out because I'd have to do it outside of uh, the view. Either way, so once again, once you go ahead and pull this out, it's gonna have to be done with a little bit of pressure because it's being held on snugly. Um, but once it comes off, this is what you have, okay? And just be very careful in here, there's a a um, like a washer right there make sure not to lose that because you're gonna use that right away um, and here is the problem okay it's not the brush head it's these little bearings in here okay they seize up if you can see on this one there is a bunch of rust um, obviously maybe this unit has been used with some sort of water or something or in water um, and obviously that's not what we want to do with these dice. And so, um, you know, I'm not sure if I can turn it. I won't be able to turn it, no. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clean this up here and um, lube it up with some uh, WD-40 or lithium grease. Um, and I will come right back. I did see. finished product if you guys can see that how the um, these particular bearings right here have been cleaned out they used to be very rusty before and I don't know if you guys noticed but I just touched it and it moved so the way that I did it is with this this basic tool right here it's just a wire brush I use some electrical parts cleaner just because it's safer I guess I would say it may not eat up any of the plastics around it uh, brake cleaner may be a little bit too harsh, but in the case of an emergency, I personally would use it. Um, and a flathead screwdriver, I'll tell you why you're going to need this. And what you're going to need is some WD-40. All right. And so what I did was um, I sprayed first uh, the cleaner, the electrical cleaner all around. I grabbed my wire brush and all I did was just very simple just do this so you guys can see just do circular motions um, it may take a while because when there's rust in there or whatever it is it takes time to uh, loosen up so once you get that nice bright shine um, what you're gonna do next is you're going to grab your WD-40 and you're gonna go ahead and spray some on the bearings okay uh, once you do that, you continue to move it, and that's where the screwdriver comes in. The screwdriver is, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and make sure that the head of the screwdriver actually goes in um, partially, but that you have enough grip to twist it, okay? And I'll tell you why. You need to twist it because, look, you're going to make sure that your bearings are now turning, all right? And they're turning um, without any problems. 
all right? And now that those bearings are turning, that means that the whole brush cylinder will be turning, all right? And there you go. So if you can go ahead and just give it a light twist and it turns, then you're good to go, all right? What I did just to be on the safe side is once I turn it, I cleaned it again, turned it, cleaned it again, turned it, cleaned it again, or brush it in other words, so that make sure that any rust that's underneath the bearing will get uh, brushed out, okay? And then last step uh, is go ahead and get your uh, cleaner, your um, electrical parts cleaner, and once again, um, spray it and make sure you clean it out thoroughly, spray it on the on the bearing side, spray it on the back side, make sure it's clean, grab a paper towel, just, you know, dab it, make sure it's clean, all right? And um, the next step would be grabbing, I know this is just uh, what you got right here is I dabbed a little bit of uh, all-purpose grease, all right? Um, you don't need much, you need a very, very little amount of, uh, of all-purpose grease. Um, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab some you can also use WD-40 if you like, um, but obviously WD-40 with, with time, it'll go ahead and um, dry up. Um, so what I did was I go ahead and put a little bit of W, there you go, on both sides. You don't have, do not go ahead and put a bunch of it, right? Because that can also cause it to seize up. All right, you go ahead and grab your screwdriver. Make sure it's all in between. And like I said, all you need is a little bit because these bearings don't require much to turn once they're turned, once they're uh, lubricated. All right. All right, so what you're gonna do now is grab your screwdriver from the back. Once again, repeat the process, twist it. Make sure all that bearing grease gets uh, in the nooks and crannies of the uh, bearings and you're set you're good to go okay all right so now here comes the other part that you guys also have to remember is the washer okay you're going to have a silver side which is a metallic side and then you're going to have the back side which is uh, rubber so make sure that you clean that out as well uh, you can do it with your wire brush that's what i did um, and if you see that both sides are dark, uh, it's because one of them is covered in grease, okay? So clean it up. What you're gonna do then is you're gonna go ahead and take this um, washer, you're gonna turn it around on the metal side down, you're gonna go ahead and put it into place, and voila. You guys can see that? It's gone ahead and tapped in there, and it's all good to go. Now, one thing I did miss in the beginning, just because in this particular washer, um, the, um, the the washer itself came out when I removed this unit. If it doesn't come out, you're gonna need a hook or like some sort of like a, a, a tack or a, a push pin, and just on the, on its side, gently pry it out, and it should work. All right. So what we do now is this is the long side cylinder, as mentioned before. Okay. And what we're gonna do now is just simply put it in there and make sure you put it in there and guess what, guys? There we go. Now you have a free turning cylinder as to where before the cylinder was not turning. All right, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna repeat the process of installing the brush heads back onto the cylinder or the mechanism here for the head of the uh, the Dyson and all right so let's go ahead and do it make sure this long side is matching up with the back side of the the unit and remember what I said guys about this here I'm not sure if you guys could see it uh, it's a little hard but right there you'll see it's got an indentation where this particular groove goes, all right? The one that has the little, small, you guys see it right there, all right? And you match it up. And it should slide right in there. There we go, okay? And we're gonna repeat the process for the other side. 
Okay, where's that groove? You can turn it. All right. And make sure this part is facing correct side and that the unit has not moved. And there we go. All right, so now get the screw, screwdriver, put in all the screws. Now the last thing to do is going to be to put in your brush cylinder uh, screw, the one that holds the cylinder and that plastic piece together. Um, I left it to the end, you can do it in the beginning, it doesn't really matter, but I just did that to make sure that everything is sitting correctly and I don't have to wiggle it out or move it anyways. There's, there's no wrong way to do it, so you can do it before or after, it doesn't matter. Look at this, guys. Look at that. Moves freely, which is great. That's what we wanted, and that's what we didn't have in the very beginning. All right, there we go. Now we have some free spinning brush heads. What we do is going to reinstall, as mentioned, see a bunch of hair. Uh, particles here um, I'm not gonna I'll clean it out later um, but just wanted to show you guys um, this process all right you go ahead and align everything make sure everything clips on then you're gonna go ahead and do this okay you're gonna clip this on right I'm sorry if it went out of view clip it on clip it on there we go we've got a brush head and now to install this in the unit Okay, it's very, very easy. All right. Make sure that you have the connector, which is this one here. That right there has to go in there. All right. Line it up. Install it. I'm sorry, I'm having to do everything with... Uh, and there we go make sure it sits once it sits don't push it too hard because it might break but there we go all right once it's sitting there you're gonna go ahead and grab your retainer clip and your retainer clip has this little indentation right here like a U right and that goes right here make sure you you don't put it this way you can make sure you put it this way all right make sure that everything is Nice and snug, boom, one side, the other. All right, there you go. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it to make sure that everything is working. video helped if you think it helped I apologize I'm not a avid youtuber I just wanted to help somebody and make sure that um, they can fix something themselves versus throwing it away or taking it to the repair shop or warranty cost you hundreds of dollars uh, this helped you out I would appreciate a like subscribe thank you